Okay, let's do 3.3 .3 and 3.4. Let's go back up to our small instances and write out the solutions using our notation. And then let's also draw the solutions. I'm actually going to draw them first because I find drawing them much, much easier. And then we can write them out once we're done drawing them. So uh, for our trivial solutions, it's easy. And essentially, we've already got it. Uh, what is the solution for when nw is equal to 0? Well, the solution is just that. It's the set of pairings that is empty. And what is the solution when nw is equal to 1? This is actually a little more interesting to write out, right? Uh, so it is a pairing that's got w1 over here. And who does it have on the left? Well, it's got her top preference. Let's see if we've already got a notation that we can use to find her top preference. Where's, ah, there's our notations. Uh, so P sub MI is a permutation of W, which represents MI's preferences over the women. And so P sub WJ would be a permutation of M that represents WJ's preferences over the men. Let's just assert that a permutation is a list that we can subscript. So uh, let's say index rather than subscript. We've got enough subscripts. Uh, indexable, and I'm going to call it a one-based list, so it starts with element one rather than with element zero. I know, I know, we're computer scientists, we're used to indexing on element zero, but I just find it so much easier when we're writing a whole bunch of English everywhere to index on element one. It'll get us mean. <laughs> it'll guess, <laughs> I was going to say, it'll get us in trouble, it'll get me in trouble, I guess, since you're taking my class. It'll get us in trouble at some point. Uh, so what do we want to put in this blank here? We want the first element of W1's preference list. So I think that would be, if I've got space, I'm just going to slant up to the side. Sorry, everyone. I don't have an eraser on this uh, digital pen that I'm using right now. PW1, that's uh, the preference list of woman 1, sub 1. So in general, the solution to the nw equals 1 problem is to pair woman 1 with her first preference. OK, um, that's a little harder to draw because I'd actually have to write out kind of what her first preference is. I guess I had that in there as, as mi, so you know I could, I could put in this one right here is uh, number i. And then we could just say the solution is that these two connected. Okay, now we've got our two small instances down below. We've already written out a bad solution uh, to this problem right here. Um, just uh, what I'm going to do is rather than erase that, because I'd like to keep a record of it, I'm going to draw a new version of it, m1, m2, m3, but just with the women and the men, we'll refer to the original version to see their preferences. And we know there was an instability between m2 and w1, so I'm going to guess if we pair them up and break off the w1 m3 marriage. There we go, like that, that that will be stable. And let's just check. Uh, will M1 and W1 form an instability? Here, let's just put dashes in every time we check someone. Will M1 and W1 form an instability? Well, uh, M1 is with W2 and doesn't prefer to be with W2, but W1 is with man2, which is now her top preference, so no instability there. In fact, if we look at it, woman2 is actually also with her top preference. Remember, she most prefers man1. Uh, so woman1 and woman2 are with their top preferences, and that tells me that actually all of the possible instabilities we check, let's just draw them in just out of curiosity. So man3 and either woman2 or woman3 constitute an instability and then man2 and woman2 constitute an instability. Those are all the possible instabilities, and they're all taken care of, because woman1 and woman2, neither of them will ever want to defect to the other man. Uh, and lastly, we want a solution to this other small problem that we had here. Oh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to write that out in our notation, so that would be uh, m1 with woman2 and 
M2 with woman one. And I'm writing these solutions as sets. Do they need to be ordered lists instead? No, uh, we don't really need a particular order out of the pairing, so we can write them as a set if we want to. We could go back and patch up. I think I may have said that it was a list of pairings, but a set is enough. Okay, regardless, let's draw out a solution to this, this second problem here. So, Oh, uh, man one and man two both prefer woman one. So whatever woman one wants, she has to get. She wants man one. Woman two wants man two. And so this is going to be the only stable solution in this one. We haven't confirmed that there's only one stable solution in the previous one. And that solution written out would be man one with woman one. And man two with woman two. Okay, I think we've solved that problem now. Let's just go and check. We could say what a solution looks like. And did we say it's a list? Yeah, we said it's a list. Let's say a set. And somehow the letter P appeared down here. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Did we go back up to our trivial and small instances and write out one or more solutions to each using these names? Yes. Did we go back up to our drone representation and draw at least one solution? Yes.